So recently I did a video with my friend La Carancita and her and I we talked about the differences between life in Colombia versus life in Mexico. But I just wanted to touch on a few key topics today that I think would really help. So the first one is cost of living, right? I feel like most people look at these two countries for the cost of living. I would say they're pretty equal when it comes to apartments or rents. But I think if you were to compare apples to apples, I think it's slightly more expensive in Mexico. Even though the rents are pretty comparable, I would say when it comes to the cost of food and the cost of living there, food is usually a lot more expensive in Mexico. I think average breakfast is like $4, lunch is like $8, and the dinner is probably like $12, $13. Whereas in Colombia, average breakfast is like $2, a lunch is like $5, and the dinner is like $8. Trying to buy like anything electronic or things here in Colombia are usually a pain in the ass because if they're imported, you have to pay like an import fee. And the import fee is kind of a lot. I feel like Mexico, because it's a more international country and it's a lot closer to like the US and bigger cities, everyday things that you need are probably gonna be a lot cheaper. On a scale of one to 10, living in Colombia, cheap wise would probably be like a four, and then Mexico would probably be like a five, five and a half. So another thing to keep in mind too is the difference in culture. In my opinion, from what I've seen, Mexico is still pretty conservative. I would say that Colombia and a lot of the smaller cities are more conservative, but the big cities are very liberal, very open, very progressive. Que mas? bien. But I would even say like their cultures are like way different. Latin America, Central America is so big. So I feel like all the countries in Latin America have different values, but even also like in Central America, Spanish is different, their culture is way different. There's a lot more like indigenous people. So I would definitely take a look at the two. I say like Colombia has those Latin, strong Latin roots, family values that are really strong, but they're a little more open about sex. And in Mexico, they have those family values too, but I think like being gay is still pretty taboo in most places in Mexico. The man's the man, the woman's a woman. I'm not gonna get into it, there's like a bunch of machismo and stuff, you know, that's pretty much your own opinion. But I would say like definitely check them both out and see where you fit culture wise. Medellin is like the freaking reggaeton capital of the world. It's the city is super sexualized and it's very free. It's a pretty big party town, I would say. The people who have visited Mexico, I would like to hear what you guys have to say about Mexico City, about Guadalajara. Is it like that or is it like super different to how it is in Medellin, Bogota? So when it also comes to culture, I think something that's taking into account is like the people. I personally always recommend people doing some slow traveling, going to the place and see where you connect with people. People in Mexico are nice, but they're not as friendly as Colombian people. Colombians have fame for being extremely friendly, especially here in the Paisa region. Like if you go to Medellin, people are really friendly. Here in Manizales, people are extra friendly. You get lost and you need directions, people will literally like walk you to where you need to go. There's just something about the homeliness of Colombian people that I feel is so different than the rest of the world. I've talked to a lot of Colombians, you know, who live in other parts of the world and they say that even though Colombia has its problems, the one thing they always come back for are the people here because it's just unlike any other people in the world. I think Mexico is a lot more of an international country and an international city. It's just been more well known. So people have gone there to vacation a lot more than Colombia. I feel like Colombia is finally just getting known. More so Medellin and Cartagena rather than the other cities, but I feel like Mexico City has been pretty explored and discovered for a while now, so a lot of people know about Mexico. Colombia, I still feel like there's a lot of foreigners coming now, but they're still pretty to themselves and they still kind of really appreciate their own culture. I don't think like internationally they're as good as Mexico yet. When you talk about people, you also have to talk about dating. I've dated a few Mexican people, but I wouldn't say they were Mexican-Mexican, they were like Mexican-Americans. Colombia and Mexico have very similar traditional Latin values, but I would say in general, Colombia is a little more liberal. When it comes to like the beauty of the people, I think Mexico looks a lot more indigenous, whereas Colombia is a lot more mixed with black people. I feel like both populations are pretty short, but I would say in general, Colombian people are more attractive, the men and the women. Colombians have just international fame for being beautiful and being great wives and X, Y, and Z. In my opinion, I definitely think that's true. Mexican people are, are attractive too, but if you were to say on a balance of probability, I would say that the average Colombian is definitely a lot more attractive than the average Mexican. All right, so I wanna talk about the food for a little bit, but I feel like it's not even a competition. Mexican food is just hands down way better, in my opinion. Colombian food has its moments. You know, the ingredients are very good, but there's not a lot of huge diversity in Colombian food. And uh, many of the is very healthy. The soups here are really good, but man, I feel like if you were to compare Mexican food and Colombian food, it's not even close. Mexican food is just way better. But what about like entertainment and things to do? Here in Colombia, it's a really good time. If you go to Medellin and Bogota, pretty international cities, there's always a lot of things to do. But I feel like Colombia is just a much smaller co country in comparison to Mexico. I've heard some of the, the best beaches in Colombia are really nice, but I think Mexico is just much more of like a touristy spot. And there are a lot more things to do because it's just such a big country. Here in Manizales, it's a small city, so it's pretty boring. There's not a, too much, too much to do. But I would say like, if you were to balance between Colombia and Mexico, I would say there's a lot more to do in Mexico than there is in Colombia. Economic opportunity, I feel like Mexico wins in this regard, even though Colombia is on the rise. You know, I, I have a business here in Colombia and thankfully Colombia is very capitalist friendly, which is super, super nice. But I would say that uh, there's just not a lot of op economic opportunity here at the moment it's because it's not super internationally known. Maybe in Bogota and definitely Medellin, but here in Manizales is still pretty untapped. You don't have to deal with 
with like the cartel and like uh, extortion and stuff. And I've heard that's actually a really big problem in Mexico. So if you make a lot of money in Mexico, you might get a visit from the cartels to like pay your share or whatever, you know? My general recommendation is that if you're not planning on living here, like coming to open a business is not probably the best move. If you can keep things online and try to earn like outside money, that's usually the best. But if I were, I had to like rate it on a 10. Economic opportunity in Colombia, I would say is probably like a five. And Mexico is probably like a six and a half, seven. So another point of contention is the Spanish. People usually choose these two places because Mexican Spanish and Colombian Spanish is like the most neutral and best to learn. In my opinion, I think Faisa Spanish is the most beautiful Spanish. It's not that Mexican Spanish is bad. It's not hard to understand it. I would say it's pretty neutral. Colombian Spanish has like a sing-song quality to it that's very beautiful to listen to and it's very unique. So overall, if you were to choose between the two, what would you choose? It's kind of a hard thing to say. I've heard so many good things about Mexico and I've heard a lot of people talking about how Mexico is actually a lot better than Colombia. I have not spent a long period of time in Mexico, so I wouldn't be able to say. But as someone who lives here and you know, I love being here, I think just, just, there's just something about the people and the culture and obviously I found my wife here. It makes you not want to leave. You know, people say that the, the greatest danger in Colombia is that you're not going to want to leave. And I definitely agree with that. And even though it has its problems with corruption and infrastructure, you know, I've, I've talked about it a lot in my videos. The thing that makes Colombia so great is the people and the, and the friendships and the memories you'll make here. If food is a little more important, if you're not super strapped for cash, if you want a little more opportunity and more like international presence, I feel like Mexico is probably the way to go. But I think Colombia is still pretty untapped. It's just starting to make its boom now you know which is pretty cool whereas mexico is a little more established already i want to hear what you guys think down below you think it's colombia is better do you think mexico is better i still want to go to mexico i would like to travel there for a couple months catch you later peace